Hello aquarium enthusiasts, Jeff here. So I was about to feed my 30 gallon community tank and I noticed something wasn't quite right. Let's see if it is obvious, but right at the moment it's not. See if you can see what I see or you notice what's kind of wrong with this picture. Yep, this guppy is struggling. She kind of looks bloated. I mean, I suppose it could be confused as like pregnant looking, but it's just kind of weird shaped stomach, but and she's been kind of swimming at times like face down and looks to be gasping. And looking at her her tail fin and even her, her dorsal fin too, it looks like it's been getting nipped. You know, it's a, a common occurrence, like if there's a sick fish, other fish will pick on it. I think that must have been what's happening, what has been happening. You can kind of see like the the tail fin looks like it's been Getting nipped. She's actually not looking her worst right now. Um, but before I grab my phone to start this video, she was kind of face down, like her having like swim bladder problems. There she goes. I mean, since I've approached the tank, like all the fish, you know, I think it's feeding time, so they're all kind of in the in the center, and I think that's gotten her to try to right herself. Yeah, she's having a, a rough time. So, I am having thoughts of euthanizing her. I've never euthanized a fish before, um, but I've heard of different methods, like one being one using clove oil, but I do not have clove oil in my possession. Another one is using ice water. Like I guess I would, you know, put her in a bag of, you know, this aquarium water and putting that into ice water and that basically just would slow the, her metabolism down until, you know, until it's slowed down entirely and she loses all body function. I mean, that's one option. Another option would be just leave her alone and let her die on her own. You know, I, I kind of don't really think she's going to recover. And she does appear to be struggling, so I'd, ra I'd rather end her misery. I've thought about, you know, putting her in a quarantine tank, but I mean, I, I really 
don't have a quarantine tank anymore. My what had been what I have been using as my quarantine tank is now my mutt guppy tank. So that's kind of not an option. There is also my banishment tank that has the mosquito fish in it, but that would pretty much be sending her to be tortured. So I think the, the most humane way of doing it would be the, using ice water. <clears throat> so I've had this fish, this is one of my, one of the first fish I got. Um, I've had, since I've been stocking this aquarium, I've had like six different stints of groups of fish um, being that went through quarantine and she was in the the first quarantine stage and that was when my my first um, the, the tank that I have now that now I have like um, guppy and their hybrids in it that was my original quarantine tank and I ended up letting it become a a, um, a fry grow out tank because before I got to move those fish out of quarantine they had babies and I think she was one one of the ones that had babies so I think you know the the grown guppies in there now are her grown fry. So I got her around the end of July. So I've had her about a little over seven months. I don't know, maybe I should give her another day. Oh, there she okay. It's like she struggles to swim upright and then kind of lets go and goes face down. I mean, even like since I started started this video, she's been looking her best than than she was before I first started watching watching this tank, and then she just went behind the out of view. <clears throat> so, yeah, I think I'm gonna. Feed them as I was going to, watch her for a little more. You know, I don't expect her to really get better, but. Hmm. I mean, I wouldn't want her to get, if she is sick, if there's anything that would spread to the other fish. I don't want that to happen. I mean, I, you know, I hate to have to kill her. But I don't know. Have you ever been in this situation? Have you ever had to euthanize a fish? And if so, what methods have you used? Let me know. Oh, there she is again. Yeah, give me some feedback. Let me know what you do for when your fish are are sick and appear to be close to dying. If you've ever had to euthanize a fish. I mean, you know, it's it's a shame, but I mean, it's just a guppy. 
I mean, I did have to euthanize um, one of my cats. You know, I've been, I've shown several videos of my, the cats I have now, Muchacho and Creature. But before I had them, I had a cat that was one month short of reaching 20 years old. And I had to euthanize him. Like he was, he was deaf probably a little over a year, his last year. And then he went blind as well. So three weeks before I had him euthanized, he went blind. So he was deaf and blind. And once he went blind, he just declined rapidly. And it was like, got to the point where he was struggling to move. So the next day I took him to the vet to have him euthanized. That was, that was a rough time, but he lived a long, happy life. You know, almost 20 years old for a cat. That's pretty, it's a pretty long life. But by comparison, you know, a fish would be not very difficult at all. So, yeah, I think I'm going to feed these guys like I was going to. See if that guppy attempts to eat. And maybe get some feedback. I mean, I don't really have that much of an audience, that many subscribers, but if I get some feedback, maybe that could influence me. Um, I know Hawaiian Brian, you know, he's been giving me a lot of advice on guppies and fish keeping since I started making videos and since I got back into the hobby recently. And he's the one that, he suggested the ice water method, so I think I'll use that. Oh, I don't know where she is. She disappeared behind the the Java moss. So maybe she's upside down back there somewhere. But all right, yeah. I mean, I'd love it if you got if anybody could let me know what they would do in the situation what kind of, you know what their what your thoughts might be about euthanizing fish so all right i'm jeff and i enjoy fishies and i enjoy kitties thanks for watching